One else from Maine. It'd be special. And two people get married, they became one. That means they have to trust each other. Amen. They may not always get the things they want. They may not always win our uh, arguments, men, do we? We know when. Shut up. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie Floyd of the biggest Southern Baptist Church in Arkansas, in Springdale, Arkansas, he said, not all battles are worth fighting for. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of truth in that. Man, when you get married, you don't get to hang out with the boys no more, do you? <clears throat> don't get to drag man no more. And women, you don't fly the first. Marriage is no longer 50-50 anymore. It's 100-100. Amen. Amen. Sometime a sibling's love can be great. Youth leader asked one of his class, which one of the Ten Commandments talks about parents? I can see this right here by a bunch of teenagers. She said, honor thy father and thy mother. Yes, and then, is there any commandments that talks about brothers and sisters? She said, yeah, thou shalt not kill. <laughs> Amen to that. That's the way brothers are, amen. Okay. Never know what teenagers are going to say. But your love for God must be greater than that of your family. Sometimes a child may have to choose between God or obeying the parents. Wife may have to choose between submitting to Christ or submitting to their husbands. You may have to choose between being with your children or being with your birth family. Much as I love Barbara and my children, my brothers and sisters, I want them to know that they are number two in my life. Amen. Above everyone else is God, who will always be number one. Amen. We must love God more than ourselves. <clears throat> Let's go to Matthew 10, verse 38 and 39, please. Matthew 10, verses 38 and 39. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. The Bible says the greatest love <clears throat> we can ever have is loving God. Talk about this morning how God has blessed, blessed us in this church. In spite of what all we do, He still loves us. Mm -hmm. Used to be an old guy at Brother Gene's church in Haynes, Arkansas. He asked, said, How you doing, Kenny? He said, Better not, better not deserve it. He said it all the time. That's so true. Amen. <clears throat> Which would we be willing, would be willing to give up for God? Would it be money? Would be a house, a job, a car. We must love God so much that we'd be willing to give our lives for Him. Matthew suffered martyrdom in Ethiopia. He was killed by a sword. Luke was hanged in Greece. Peter was crucified upside down. James the just half brother of Jesus was thrown down a cliff over a hundred feet when they realized he was still dead they beat him with a club. Mm -hmm. James the greater son of Zebedee was beheaded at Jerusalem. Andrew was crucified with an X shape in Greece. Thomas was stabbed with a spear in India. Jude the brother of Jesus was killed with arrows. Matthew the disciple that was picked by the others take Jesus' place, was stoned by the Jews. Barnabas was stoned to death. That's Salonica. Philip was crucified. Paul was beheaded at home. We have it easy in good old America, don't we? For now. <laughs> good old America. But today may come, my friend. The 
we'll have to take a stand for the Lord. Who will you choose? Amen. Who will you choose? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to die for your loved one? Are you willing to die for the Lord? Are you willing to give your life for him? People in Syria are running for the lives. They just caught in the crosshair and said nothing. They never know, but I noticed the other day one girl got killed, got beheaded because she walked too close to a house. And yet people won't come to church. We got elections coming up. And you, you remember when the Iraqi people got to vote, they had the purple fingers, you know, they finally got to vote for the first time, you know. <coughs> we, we talked about this morning about Supreme Court Justice Day. We need to be praying for our country more than ever now. Amen. That they will turn to God and not turn to men. Both parties. That's a battle going on. There's a war going on between Satan and God. But I've read the back of the book, amen, and we win. Amen. But there's still a battle to be fought here on planet Earth. There's no people need to go AWOL in God's army. When you list in God's army, you list in it till you die. What will it be? What will it be? Preacher, it couldn't happen here in Jacksonville. Yes, it can. <coughs> I think the time will come. This is just me. We'll be slipping around to have church. Possibly. It's getting close now. We can't say nothing. It's hate speech if you say homosexual. You know, Jesus didn't care what they say, did he? Man. He said it, was, said it like it was. Mm -hmm. We as Christians need to reach out to those people. We need to love them. We need to find them to church, amen. They just blind it like lots of other people are. We're not any better than they are. We just found Jesus in the head. Amen. Would you let a homosexual come in here? I would. I'd tell them all I knew about Jesus. Amen. God's going to judge some of these churches who are so stiff necked and don't want nobody to go in there but half a little people. He'll judge those churches. Amen. I hope this side never gets like that. I don't think it will. From what I've been told, it's been like this for years. Mm -hmm. Anybody comes through the door, they're welcome. That's the kind of church that Jesus is looking for, amen. Mm -hmm. But John spoke this morning. I'm going to challenge y'all between now and this revival. Let's pack it. Pack it. If Mark Trammell can pack it with a gospel concert, why can't we just pack it with a revival? Amen. Okay. Well, that's different, North Carolina. He sung about God, and Brother Jim's going to be preaching about God. Amen. We need revival. Well, John and I was just, we just talked this morning. Revival is actually for the church to get revived. If somebody gets saved, hey, that's just a plus. Amen. Plus, uh, I'm excited about what God's going to do. I just do. If the devil has fought us too hard, I'm just excited about what he's going to do. I think you're going to see an overflowing of God's love. Just, we need to get traditions out of the way. Baptists ain't never done it like this, this, and that, and let God move. Amen. Amen. You know what we're going to find out? <clears throat> when we get to heaven, we're going to find out Baptists wasn't right on everything. Amen. Sure. That ain't, that ain't supposed to be, but Lord. When I die, I want my tombstone to say I was a Christian. Amen. I know some of y'all are going to say, here's a Baptist preacher saying that. 
But as long as you're a Christian, you know you're right. Amen. As we stand, please.